What is going on YouTube? It is your boy, Sean P, back with another video. And if you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel, Sean P Reviews. And if you're subscribed, thank you for subscribing to my channel. In today's video, I'm taking on a challenge presented to me by the Bearded Texan, AKA Brian Griffin, on shedding the light of men's health issues when it comes to No Shave November. Now, you're, everyone's probably wondering, what is No Shave November? No Shave November is when you do not shave for an entire month and the money you save on, you know, shaving products like the razors, the shaving cream and uh, whatever you use to uh, shave with. You take that money and you donate it to your favorite charity. And uh, I was watching um, one of Brian's videos last night and he revealed that he was a three time survivor of testicular cancer. And I could see why his beard, he kind of uh, is symbolic to him because of the chemotherapy that he went through. And it is like, I could, and it's amazing that his beard is that long after going through so much chemo. Brian, I salute you for, you know, for battling cancer and beating it. And I know there's days when you have pain and I'm, I know it's hard some days. I can't imagine because I've never had it, had that happen to me. And uh, dude, you're, you're a, a living testimony, really. I mean, you, you fought cancer and you beat it. And I could see why your, your beard is really, it means a lot to you. And my beard means a lot to me too. And uh, I'm just doing this video to kind of shed light on men's health issues. Men, we have to take better care of ourselves. We have to make those doctor's appointments, those checkups. I know we don't want to do them. I know I don't want to do them, but please make it a priority to have that regular checkup with your doctor or, you know, just get checkups regularly done. Me coming up as a, as a child, I didn't really have like a doctor. Me now, I don't even really go to the doctor, but that's about to change because first of all, first off, I'm older and um, I need to take better care of myself anyway because at the end of the day, I know it's all, we talk about beards and growing our beards out, but at the end of the day, it's about your health and, and just you being there for your family. So I'm taking on a challenge by Brian, uh, saying that if you have a platform like YouTube or Instagram or Facebook, please just shine light on the fact that us as men, we need to take better care of ourselves. We need to take, make our, our health a, a huge priority. And, uh, Brian, like I said, I salute you for, you know, fighting cancer and beating it. And I love your channel. I love watching it. And you're going through the same thing I'm going through with the whole year. And you're just seven weeks ahead of me. And um, I'm excited to see what's going to happen with your uh, beard and see how long it gets just like mine. And um, yeah, but your your message really hit home yesterday with the whole like the making the doctor's appointments and you're just having a checkup and uh, he said there's a way that you can check for testicular cancer and this might be a little too personal for you gentlemen out there, but I'm gonna say it, if you're in the shower and you're, you know, down there, you know, touch your balls, nuts, whatever you wanna call them, testicles, and check to see if one's larger than the other. Now, I know this is personal, but Hey, I'm, I'm here for y'all. I'm here to just like shine a light on, on men's health because it is a priority. It should be a priority in everybody's life. And um, yeah, with that, um, I just wanted to just reach out to Brian. Me and him kind of chatted last night and um, it, it was like, it, his story is, is pretty, it's pretty amazing. He's a living testimony, man. Like three time survivor of testicular cancer, man. That's, that's, that's amazing. Like I, I can't imagine going through that. So, Brian, like I said, I salute you. Uh, you kick cancer's ass, and I, like I said, I can't, I can't imagine myself in that situation. What I would do, um, but it, it, it like that, that chat last night was awesome. Um, I'm just, I'm anxious to see where your what, what happens with your beard in the next 28 weeks, just like mine in the next 35. So. Um, Brian, um, if you see this, I, I, I commend you. 
And uh, to all the men out here, to all my subscribers, to anybody who watches this video, please take advantage of your benefits at your job. Please take advantage of your medical insurance, all that, because your health should be a main priority. It's not about how big your beard gets or what product you use. You know, we're going to pause on that for a minute. It's about our health, our health as a whole. And um, please just make it a priority because yeah, it, it, just make it a priority. And I know I'm not really one to say, cause I, I'm afraid of going to the doctor myself, but you have to have those checkups. You need to have the pr uh, prostate checkup. Nobody wants to do that, but it needs to be done because that just like, if you can catch that stuff early, it could be treated. And the same thing, when, same with the testicular cancer. If you can catch that stuff early, it can be treated. So please, 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 men out here, please just make your health a huge priority and just get them checkups done, please. I'm telling you, please. And I, I just like, I took on this challenge by Brian because I have the platform to do it and I'm gonna use it. So please, man, just get, go to the doctor, please. I, I'm, I know I'll keep sounding like a broken record, but please, if you have medical insurance or you have the money to go to the doctor, please do that. And uh, with that, I'm gonna sum up this video. Just got off of work. Um, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out.